Alrighty. So, I'm going to record this. Oh my god. Fucking balls. Alright, now as I was saying before the phone rang, um, it's night before Thanksgiving, it's now Wednesday, and my adapters have come in, so I got my half inch to three quarter inch adapter that I can use. And that we're going to use that to get the, uh, the big nut, axle nut, off the front, knuckle, so I can get the wheel bearing off because I got all the other tools. So we're going to do that now. I'm also recording this on my body camera and my camera camera. I'm going to see if what I can do is spice the two videos together because since I'm going to be doing this by myself, I'm going to need two hands to impact everything off out of there. Uh, we're going to use the body cam for that. So I apologize. It's going to be very wide angle kind of far away deal. Not going to be good as detailed as this, but what I'm going to do first is on things where I'm talking and <clears throat> I don't need both hands, I'm going to try to use, if I can, splice that footage with the camera in with the footage of the body camera. And if I can't do that, then that's fine, whatever. Then we'll, you'll, it'll be body camera only for this video and you'll know about it because you'll be watching it. So we're going to see how that goes. First things first is open this open this up and then we're going to go ahead and uh, impact our dealio off all right hopefully this is decent looking like i said it's on a body camera and it's kind of dangly i'm wearing a sweater or a sweatshirt all right so and i'm in my kitchen so i apologize if i have a low light but i'm gonna try to impact this dude off with my 46 mil here if this big fucker will fit. If not, we're going to be taking a trip down to the grinder. Which looks like where we're going to be going. Motherfucker. God damn it. Okay, if I grind some of it off. Several minutes later. Alright, so it's finally in here. You can see. Alright, let's impact this thing off. Is there another battery after all that? Yeah, that's good point. Alright. Hopefully this just comes off. done so there you go 46 mil impact grind it down uh, a little bit okay now I should, we should be able to press this off it's like this is a fag Germany Lugs are of course 17 mil. Tighten them down a little. All right, that should be good enough, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about this camera angle. I'm like I said, it's a body camera. I need both hands. I'm trying here. Good 19 mil on the uh, dealio itself. 
tightening this should just allow this bearing to come off. Hopefully it comes off all with the inner race and everything. I don't have to pound that fucker off. need to clean this off then because the inner race everything came out in one go I think this ring is the ABS sensor ring pretty sure I have to see if I can get that off because I don't know if a new one came with one let's find out alright so here is the new one here's the old one so, they're mostly the same. This one is a little thicker around here for some reason. Or at least it appears to be. And this one, this one's got like a sleeve here for something. So, whatever. But I think I just need to pull this ABS ring off and put it on here. And I think I should be fine. This, this thing... Shouldn't make that much of a difference, I wouldn't think. Because it's just going to go right back on this. And this is my factory one, by the way. If anyone's wondering why this is this, uh, the Beamers R Us place near me. I was going to see if they had one of these in stock. And if they did, I was going to just, because I had the knuckle off the car anyway, I was just going to drop it over and have them. I was going to buy it from them and just have them do the switch. Uh, but they didn't. They would have had to order it, so I said, fuck it, I'll just order it myself and then do the work myself. So since I had to order it myself, that's why I went ahead and ordered that and this and then just did that all myself. So we're going to clean this up. It's a brake clean. Um, then what we're going to have to do is, unfortunately, it's going to be warm tomorrow. What I want to do originally is like put this in the freezing cold, like the freezer or something. And let it get super chill, like cold, cold. And then I was going to put this dude in like the oven for like at like 180 degrees. So this would expand, this would contract, and I could just slide it on. Which I still might do. I might just, you know, while I was down, I should check the freezer. I need to go back down to the basement and check the freezer, see if it's big enough to put this knuckle in. And I'll just put it in there till morning. And then I'll cook that before the uh, Thanksgiving starts getting cooked. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, so I got the... Uh, ABS ring out so it appears to be made of metal but it does have like a rubber gaskety thing over it now, I don't know if you put a magnet up to this thing it ruins them including a small magnet from a screwdriver so don't be using a magnetic screwdriver to pry this out so in order to get it out it was in here like this you need to get Something small, like a very small screwdriver or a pick. I'm going to need new picks, by the way. Mine were all bent up. And after I finally got it in past this little rubber ring, I ended up... What worked the best was this guy, the pry tool. I was able to get in there under the inner inside part of the ring here. And then pry up and then just kind of go around pry 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 and then off it came so now we know it's made of metal as you can see I deformed the inner part of it a little bit but and then I uh, bashed it as flat as I could with a mallet so it's fairly straight hopefully so we can put that on here unfortunately it will allow for some dirt and or moisture intrusion since this is not perfect now maybe i can get some silicone or something around it i don't know we'll see and then 
but it should be mostly protected by this little shield in here. So how this thing works is, as you can see, there's, like I said, either this is magnetic or the actual sensor itself is magnetic, the thing that goes through there, the thing I unplugged in the beginning. And as this thing rotates, that sensor reads these either magnetic things or metal things and it'll know the speed and then uh, can use your ABS or stability control accordingly. So one side's magnetic, I'm not sure which. Since a magnet putting to this will damage it, I would assume then maybe it either changes the polarity of this or I don't know, maybe it magnetizes it and it shouldn't be so it messes up the sensor, who knows. But now we learned that's how you get it out. So you got to be very careful. Don't damage this thing. And only time will tell. I'll put it in and we'll see if it works. If I have ABS light on, then whatever. I'll just. I can't find these anywhere. If I could find one, then that would be great. But I can't find one for sale. So I guess I'll just have to buy a replacement fag wheel bearing. But we shall see. All right. That's it for now. Um. So I'm going to put this in here, try to get this cold, try to get this hot, and then just kind of slide it on. Then I can torque the thing, the, the nut, on to 213 foot-pounds, and knuckle will be done. We'll be ready to install it. Okay, so here is our progress. This is the old one. As you can see, the one that was on the car. Here's the new one. Finally got the new... Where I got the old uh, dealio in there. <clears throat> Took some convincing. It was a royal pain in the ass. So what I had to do is grind the inside and the outside down from the backside with my grinder. And then try to press it in. I tried to hammer it at first. That wasn't working. And by hammer, I mean using a mallet. Not like a hammer hammer, but uh, it wasn't really working in my favor. And then I... Remember to have a ball joint press kit. We'll go figure this is too big for the the little adapters and everything to fit on and press. So I just got one that was big enough, put it around here, and then just bashed it with a mallet. So now it sits in nice and flush, or as flush as it's going to get. Close enough for government work, anyway. It only has to roll, roll around here, which these two pointy things are rubber, also. And then the sensor goes in there. Now, why did I have to do all this, you ask? Well, if you'll recall, there was a uh, a uh, seal underneath this. It was black, and it didn't have the little ABS stuff in there that you can see. Well, that's because this is an aftermarket. WWD, I believe, is what I got. Yeah, WWD. I only paid like 28 bucks for this thing. Whereas the fag, factory one, as you can see, I come to the realization that uh, that little ABS sensor was the seal for this bearing, right? So it fits in here perfectly in this flush because that seal, the ABS sensor or ring is the seal. This one it isn't. So I had to modify it. And I got it to fit... And so, if you do not have a grinder, you don't have the ball joint press thing, you don't have a, a whole bunch of time, I recommend just splugin, uh, splurging, getting the FAG OEM replacement. So I'll probably do that for the passenger side when that one fails one of these days. I'll just buy the FAG one. And before you flag my video and saying I'm a homophobe and I'm afraid of FAGs, uh, there it is. Fag makes the part, F-A-G, don't believe me, Google it. So, anyway, got this on, it's mostly, there's a few little spots that are high, I might be able to kind of bang those out with like a little ball peen or something, just kind of bang, 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 make it straight, but more or less, it's flush, it's in, it rotates with everything else, the inner race rotates independently, so we're good. So, all right, and my freezer is uh, empty downstairs, so I might just go ahead and freeze the knuckle overnight, and then in the a.m., 
try to tap this on with a mallet. All right, so that is how we do wheel bearing replacements on the E38 front, in this case driver's side, with the knuckle off the car. Uh, but you can skip a whole bunch of this and it'll be a million times easier. It would be as simple as, if you bought the fag, that is, replacement. It'd be as easy as what you saw me do earlier. Just impact that off, uh, wipe it down, and then just put the, you know, um, impact the, the nut off. Use the puller to pull the hub off and just slap the new one off on, so... That'll be what I do with the passenger when that one fails, because I'm not going through all this again, grinding and spending my whole time beating this thing in to where it'll fit. Plus, this thing's, I mean, I only made 28 bucks for this whole thing. How long do we really think it's going to last? Not very, but I only paid 2500 bucks for the car, so uh, this is uh, Beamers on a budget here. Not, um, I'm not going to spend two grand on suspension and wheel bearings for a car that I paid 2500 bucks for. Are you kidding me, right? But all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess I'll catch you back in the AM when we finish the suspension. Oh my, what is that that smells so good cooking today? This 22nd of November. Thanksgiving Day. What could that be that smells so good? Well, I'm glad you asked. That would be wheel bearing. Perfect, that just slid on. Well, you can get to see it, I only have one hand, but it slid right on. So this chilling in the big, huge deep freezer overnight at whatever temperature it gets in here. And the wheel bearing in the oven at 170. Oh yeah. Now I just need to put that nut on, we'll impact it. And then we'll leave it like that until we can actually properly torque it, which is, I believe, 213 pound-feet of torque. So, there you go. Wheel bearing done. DIY. Hollywood style. If you're cheap, and you want to buy the cheap one, and you want to surgically remove the old uh, ABS ring, that's how you do it.